Sí. We're calling the meeting to uh, order. I guess I didn't mean I didn't mean to stop you, but I was just saying it because the camera needs us to say that. I think we're beginning the meeting. Mm -hmm. Behave but, ourselves. No, I didn't really mean that. <laughs> <laughs> I just I think I just thought I was to say that to start with. All right, so um, we have five of us here, so we have quorum. That's good. If we have any things to vote on. Um, so first of all. Welcome, Carl. Thank you. This is your first night at a Bristol L, uh, Energy Committee meeting. Right. Yeah. Actually, I was on, oh gosh, what, five, six, seven years ago? Oh, yeah, right. Um, and then my work situation changed, and regrettably, I had to uh, drop being on the committee. Yeah. But it's great to be back on it. So you're a veteran. <laughs> We're the newer ones, <laughs> really. Well, thanks for being on the committee. Very well. Look forward to yeah. working. Welcome. You. Thank you. Yeah. It's great what to do you say? UMass. UMass. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. So, uh, does anyone have anything else to add to the agenda before we begin? Did you, did you want a copy, Mike? Yeah. You know, I printed one and I left it right in my, in my kitchen counter on Thank my you. way out. Thank you. One thing that I was going to add is the VEIC grant that Matt Sharp wrote about just today. He sent me something about a grant that's available to people, and I have a little uh, information on it here that I'll pass around. And we don't have to say much about it, you know. Uh, I just mainly wanted to point it out and um, mention that um, people might have some ideas about who would be eligible for this. It's, it's uh, mainly for a nonprofit or a, uh, it could be individuals. Anyway, it's something you can take a look at. And if the Energy Committee has any ideas, we can discuss it um, down the road. But this is just an introduction to that that came today. All right, so. Um, start with number one. We had a great window dressers workshop last month and Stephen really did it up as far as organizing and all that and uh, most of it, all of us were there having a great time I think putting together frames and windows. So. Yeah it was very good special thanks to Stephen. This was the yeah. core group yeah. right here. Yeah. yeah. This was uh, key to have all your help so thank you. Have we had feedback from homeowners on them? The people That's what them? we're going to hear about, maybe. Yeah, I'll okay. tell you what Stephen's I know. Stephen's going to tell us all about what okay. he's heard. Um, yes. I'll start right in with that. Um, so far, everything fits. Every single one is fitting, and people are very happy with them. Wow. No, no complaints. Um, everything fits. Everything fits. Congrats to whoever did I, I know. Yeah, I, I lost a, a lot of sleep <laughs> in the weeks leading up, uh -huh. thinking about all the you know rebuilds I was going to get myself involved in for having mismeasured. But, but uh, it seems to have gone well. Uh, we do have one one home where uh, some extra help is needed to move some blinds that are in the way of them being installed. So I'm going to do that uh, next week. Um, otherwise, otherwise, it's a home run. Everybody's happy. That is fabulous. Yeah. It's so great. It is. Yeah. How did they pay? Did they pay initially when they reserved? Is that how did that all work out? Um, that's the way it's supposed to go. When you meet and you take measurements, you uh, ideally you you take your laptop and you generate a invoice essentially and say, mm -hmm. okay, these are the this is what you we looked at. This is what all comes to. We can you know, take some of those out if you want to do them next year or whatever. But the next step would be for you to write a check for this amount. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, that's the way window dressers prefers that it's done. I didn't do it that way. I just, because I didn't take my laptop mm -hmm. and I took pencil and paper notes, um, went back and crunched it and put it into the computer and then communicated with people by email and told them what the amounts were. And, and they sent me checks, and I sent them as in a batch to window dressers. Mm -hmm. And that worked out okay? Yeah, yeah it worked great. fine. Yeah. Great. Yeah. 
We had one. We had one low income, or uh, what did we call it? Um, anyways, one person who wasn't able to pay the full amount, but window dressers chipped in uh, a portion of that, and uh, the tent, the landlord in that building chipped in the rest. Ooh. So, huh. oh, that's nice. yeah, it's great. It worked out well. Also, uh, along the way, there was someone who kicked in a little extra. Is that true? Yeah, uh, uh, several people yeah. chipped in extra. Yeah. To cover, to help cover people yeah. who couldn't afford yeah. I think that's sure. really great when yeah. that happens. Yeah. Nice. Um, and uh, everybody that pr participated will qualify for a $100 rebate from, from VEIC. Oh, yeah. So, I've already sent mine in, and I know others have sent theirs in as well. Yeah. And it's sort of a special case because normally their their program mm. requires that you do three different things, uh, but for window, for, but for these window inserts, they recognize the efficacy, and so they are um, so as long as you install three inserts, they're going to give you the hundred dollars, which is great, pretty Excellent. nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's great. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's a kind of like, yeah, getting a couple of them for free, maybe. Yeah. Should this be Three, read, yeah. written up and reported somewhere, like on Front Porch Forum, or maybe a little Addy Indie thing? Yeah, yeah. I'd be up for working yeah. on that. That'd be cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it'd be great to have that. Uh, well, it's not going to be done by tomorrow, the little Climate Action Film Fest. But uh, yeah, it'd be good to let people know how it went, because it's going to be coming around again, and people have a chance to jump on. Right. Yeah. Okay. Does the energy committee need to present um, in front of the town on the town meeting day? That's a good question. That is a good question. Um, I think we have an opportunity to do that, but I don't think we have to. But that might be a perfect thing to mention. Mm. Uh, just a couple of those. Yeah. Things. Because especially because this hasn't been this wasn't written up in the town report in any full way, because yeah. that was due earlier. So right. this result. Right. Okay, so that would be a great addition. Yeah. Yeah. Who's going to do that? Speaking uh, town meeting? Yeah. Uh, I can do that. Great! <laughs> <laughs> this is the deep end, right? Nice! <laughs> I'm jumping in. <laughs> no, I'm happy to do that. Okay, great, Carl. so Carl will report. We'll give you. Yeah. Give a brief report at town meeting? Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, any extra information you'd like, I'd be happy to give it to you in terms of the numbers of units and yeah, that'd be good. how yeah. that all went. I'm happy to work with you on that. I think I'd like to really play up the benefits of the $100 from the EIC yeah. uh, and the generosity of uh, uh, town uh, residents who chipped in more to cover the participants. Concert. The yeah. participants, a number of the participants actually paid more than they needed to for their window inserts yeah. to help offset other people who weren't able to pay. Yeah. Do we have any uh, pictures? They might take pictures. I took a few pictures. I wonder if we could print them, if no, we could tape them anything. onto that thing and just have it out there. Uh -huh. Yeah. Hmm. And did, uh, did you take some? I did not. I don't have a camera, but uh, I know Meredith took a great video. Oh. Um, I don't know if you guys took pictures or not, but we can we can generate pictures even if they're from other workshops you know okay you maybe just have a, some from ours a I don't few or the brochures or something or yeah, yeah. it would be know. great if we could get some photos yeah just there. have them there yeah yeah um, yeah make clear also actually that while you're reporting you could wear it like a sandwich board <laughs> <laughs> absolutely <laughs> okay the difference is that they do look a little different than this so, yeah, that's a facsimile. But you know. they don't know that. They think that's it. Sure. Well, that so, has a stand. You know, yeah. I mean, most windows don't have a stand, yeah. so that's a display. Yeah. We could even write that display only. Yeah. Or whatever. We don't need yeah. to use it at all. It's it is whatever. Great. It's great. Yeah. Sure. Um, so it sounds like maybe the the two of you talking about it would be. They don't need Happy really to. need to be part yeah. of that because you get all the information from yeah. Stephen. Yeah. That'd be great. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, so we need to really uh, think about the details or make sure we make a note of the details we want to remember for when we do this again. Do you think that's, I mean, it's easy to it's think we know idea. it all about yeah, it. I idea. remember we said that at the end of the, the workshop. We're like, oh, we got to write these down. I think it'd be good to, to do that. So uh, let's, Less, Lessons learned. 
Yeah, should we think about some of those? Do a little brainstorm right now? Yeah, about let's do that. I didn't put anything down on paper, but I'll offer a few, I suppose. Yeah. Um, well, this was a weird year because we initially set out just to piggyback onto another town. We were going to just do a few houses, maybe, depending on the, um, uh, the uh, availability of units over in Charlotte. And as it turned out, we ended up doing substantially more, and they ended up doing a lot less than a full workshop like anticipated. So the planning was uh, an evolving process, let's say. I think one lesson for next year would be to um, think very carefully, and you and I have talked about this, about doing a joint workshop with another town because it greatly complicates the planning and the coordination. Um, and in this case it ended up resulting in having two separate workshops because there wasn't good communication. Um, and then we were sort of behind the eight ball with respect to finding a, a public place to do the workshop that had sufficient time. So um, I think we need to think carefully about, yeah. I, I think it's quite doable, but I, we need to be a little more, well, we are better informed now as to the pitfalls, the potential pitfalls there. Yeah. So what are you suggesting in terms of next year in that regard? Uh, let's see, what am I suggesting? That um, if we're approached by other towns mm -hmm. with the idea of doing a joint workshop, I think, I think we can be interested in that because uh, there, there could be good synergy there. there could be, it could be really useful if it's, if it's well coordinated, if the people understand exactly what's involved in their town, and I think that's really the hitch, is that the first time uh, a town does it, there's a pretty steep learning curve. Yeah. I would say that for myself, I, you know, it was, a, it was a learning curve for sure, and I know it'll be easier next year for, for us here in Bristol, because we, we know what we're getting into um, in terms of the setup and the actual building of the units, etc. Um, do you think that other towns might want to do a pilot first, like we were going to do? Or do you think that's um, worth suggesting? I, I think... If people are thinking about it, or...? Um, well, we know that New Haven is interested, mm -hmm. for sure. So I don't know what will evolve there. I don't know of other towns so far that it, nobody else has approached me, yeah. anyways. Yeah. I would think we'd only want to do one. One other town. Yeah. yeah. So would Holly Hall be big enough, and could we have enough time? Do you think to? If we planned ahead, we would need a block of time, more like yeah. a week. Yeah. If we did a full blown workshop. Um, we did it fairly well in two and a half days this year. We did eighty units. Um, first year, that's not bad. <clears throat> but you know, often. Uh, one of these workshops for a town is in the neighborhood of 240 units. Yeah. And, um, so we would need a lot more time. <laughs> so a lot more, a lot more volunteers. A lot more volunteers. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Yeah. Is a workshop what we were doing, or is a workshop yeah. the training of how to put these things together? No, what we were doing that was, was the workshop. workshop. Okay. Yeah, okay. It's, it sort of includes the training. Okay. It's sort of um, on the job training. Okay. On the job training and building of the units. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I was wondering if, if we did partner with another town, if, you know, more hands, if we could mm -hmm. get more done. Mm -hmm. um, but sometimes with a bigger crew, it's less efficient and things fall apart right, right now. Right. And it sounds like it was kind of a nightmare. This is another of. part of the lesson learned was that um, uh, <coughs> it's, it's necessary to have a core group of people and one person in particular who's sort of delegating jobs out. I, I, I kind of just took it all on because in the beginning it was just going to be a few homes and I thought, well, what the heck, I'll just do this. I'll do all the measuring, I'll do all the communicating with window dressers and then, then it evolved. But um, so next year it would be good to have a core team um, that gets trained in how to measure the windows and the, the local coordinator would, would not be normally doing the measuring. Um, 
and it would go more according to the window dressers plan where they write their checks mm -hmm. when they're measured that we would in fact take a laptop and go in teams of two okay. um, yeah that would help <clears throat> and then um, we're already ahead of the ahead of the game because um, a number of us have been through the process of building them and we know the ins and outs of the different jigs and steps in the process so that's that's key because that provides essentially whatever right here five of the so-called quality control people that are mm -hmm. needed and they are needed really mm -hmm. there were there yeah, were few absolutely. few glitches in our in our um, the quality but not much not bad at all really given that we were pretty low staffed mm -hmm. yeah and brand new to it mm -hmm. so yeah let's see what else you had mentioned that you wanted, you thought it might be good to stress to the people who were getting the windows that if at all possible we would expect them to work. Yeah. Um, well, I not did that. Yeah. Um, and this year, um, there was one. Uh, there were two. There were two participants who did not participate in the actual construction. And it is understood that it is expected yeah. but it's also understood that things come up for people right. yeah. and in one case there was a, a, a illness in the family uh, that completely prevented that person from participating and in the other case I don't know exactly what the circumstances were but um, so that was actually 20 percent of our mm -hmm. participants mm -hmm. which is not insignificant mm -hmm. yeah um, but it will happen could we put out a call to the community for what Yeah, this is another lesson learned, is that um, in addition to the participants, there's a substantial volunteer uh, need, like what, what we all did, um, uh, outside, be above and beyond the actual participants. That would be good for so. any kind of article, too, talking mm, about how... Yeah. You know, satisfying it was to work together and that and that there's an opportunity for volunteers in yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. It is it was fun, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody yeah. seemed to have fun. Yeah. We had we had people from, as you know, uh, way out of town down in Southern Arlington, Vermont who yeah. came up to, to see the workshop and learn about it and um, pitched in for half a day. That was really great. Yeah. So yeah. There were definitely people who spent longer than their four hours, or maybe it's four hours per a certain number. Is that what it is? Because some it's, people had a the, lot of windows. And the, suggested, the suggested, the um, suggested <coughs> routine is to is to sign up for one four-hour block per three to five windows. So essentially, oh, okay. an hour per window mm -hmm. okay. uh, is the sort of rec the okay. suggestion. And, um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. I do have pictures of the setup. Oh, from Thursday night. Yeah. Uh huh. Um, I think I might have taken some pictures the day. That so I've got this. Uh huh. Great. Oh yeah. So That's I'll send great. those That's to nice. you. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, so we see the layout. We don't have to remember it. Yeah, that's handy. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. I think Holly Hall was actually a good space. I do too. It was, it was large. Yeah. There was plenty of room for moving around. Yeah. We could probably have handled quite a few more units if we, if we needed to. Is it possible to, um, if we did have a, a substantially larger number and larger number of volunteers, to run a double line or to double up on some of the stations? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it might definitely. Yeah. Like well, we ended, and we ended up doing that a little bit on the second day, where yeah. um, the flow was such that we would we would have a bottleneck at the at the wrapping. Yeah. yeah. And so we ended up having two wrapping tables. Yeah. Yep. Two uh, two teams of two. So essentially. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> Seventy or eighty percent of the people there at the time. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to put down here that the wrapping table is a bottleneck. Yes. Okay. That's the slowest, the most time-consuming task. 
And is there a particular time when we should start asking for, we don't really know when we'd ever end up in the lineup with Maine as far as, yeah. so we don't really know when to reach out, but it seems like. Yeah, I mean, I think it's hard to motivate people to think about winter once it's summer. Yeah. It might not be so hard to do it before summer to get people to think oh, yeah. about. Hmm. And, and um, you know, ideally, if you can get the workshop in the fall, early fall, yeah. you know, August or, or September, mm -hmm. uh, that, that would be ideal. But that takes some, that takes some lead time for sure, yeah. mm -hmm. and some legwork. Um, you know, I wonder if trying to, when people are in that, I'm in shock mode of how much it cost me to heat my house, which is usually this time of <laughs> right, year right when about you're now, running out actually. of wood, yeah. mm -hmm. is to, to kind of make an, an effort to, to mm -hmm. advertise and, and let people give them a heads up the next fall yeah. we're yeah. going to be doing this. Yeah. I think that's a good idea. Well, maybe that's part of the um, pitch that, that Carl gives at, at uh, town, yeah. hall, town Meeting Day. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so well, your fuel bills are fresh in mind. Yeah, <laughs> to, for those of you that's concerned, you know, whatever, noticing that your tank might be a little low and the prices have not gone down. And I've heard people say they're running out of lead, which yeah, yeah, they don't um, normally. And I and I have thought to myself, and we're a little low too. It's yep. like this has been my sensation is it hasn't been a particularly brutal winter. Yeah. Right, right. In yeah. terms of cold. Yeah, maybe an early start. Somebody yeah. said. I think fall. it's longer. Yeah, I think you're right. You'll burn more wood in the fall. Yeah, and maybe without going into details as to when we're going to do it or or yeah. how we're actually going to organize it, we could at least say we could at least give people a name that if they're interested, and would like to get on the list for our next project, mm -hmm. which we hope to do in the fall. Um, you can contact somebody. Yeah. Call um, our. Uh, okay. Email Bristol Energy Committee. Would that work? Yeah. I think it'd be easier for who looks at that. Who who goes there? I, I don't even I don't know, know where that is. I thought the, <laughs> I, I, the I, chair did. It's like, <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Just have them email that. I think it might be better to have them email me directly. I think I'd. It's up to you. Yeah, that's that's totally okay. fine. Okay. I'd yeah. feel better than having to remember to look up something somewhere and. Not know what that email is anyway. Yeah, for now it's just make keeping yeah, a list. Yeah, just keeping somewhere. a list. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that'd be good. You know, in terms of getting information out or having a connection, we talked about pictures of different projects and so on that, that we're involved in. Has anybody ever brought up the idea of either a web page or a Facebook page for the Bristol Energy Committee? I think there might be one that, that Ian started. And I'm just not a, a tech kind of person or on Facebook, so I, I haven't. Really yeah, I'm, I'm not. If we have someone who also, yeah. but but the thought of using a tool like that to disseminate information, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> it was mainly it used front porch forum. Yeah. Maybe we can get Ian to be our, our, our tech uh, consultant. Consultant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Yeah, I bet. He, wouldn't you think he? I mean, if it was just a matter of throwing some stuff up there. He yeah, he could probably. He's a busy guy, I tell you. He's yeah. really busy yeah. now. Yeah. But somebody with his savvy, he could probably do. do well, what, what, what about the. Uh, we could minutes. tap into the uh, Mount A team over there. The, that would be it. If we could get a if student. We get one kid over there who'd be, be willing to help us with that. On the yeah. Enviro? Yeah. 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 My son just happens to be oh. involved in that. And I was saying the other day, wouldn't it be great EA if high school students got involved with the Energy Committee? We've been we've, talking we've about had, it for a while. We've, we've, tried to, we've tried to get that going. I've had conversations with uh, one of the guidance counselors, um, and I did reach out to one of the students back when we talked about it. She was really busy. She's an athlete. Yeah. Um, she was very interested, and now she's a, she's a senior. She'll be graduating, so I think... Um, Probably not, yeah. you know, because she'll be going to school. But, yeah. uh, so yes, but that, but I think to the extent we can give a very discreet, limited task that we'd like help with <coughs> over there, yeah, we might be, be more likely to get some. Okay, well, basically, for running them. our Facebook page. Yeah. 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 We'd provide all the um, substance, and they could. Yeah. Format. Are you going to check that out, Carl? I am. Check okay. Okay. some. And, well, and, and really, if they were interested, if we could find people who were interested in being 
part of the committee. Yeah, I agree. We, we really thought great. that yeah. would be a nice. We had that conversation. Yeah. Well, I don't know if we went that far when we met Sally and I met with them. Yeah. Well, this even past even our building project yeah. involving some more capable students in that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> He's gonna roll his eyes because uh, teenagers do not use Facebook. Oh, well, yeah. it's for old people. Okay, what, what, would, what would be better? Except I mean, do we even not have too old, right? Uh, well, but, but the thing is, I mean, um, you know, uh, middle-aged folks such as ourselves uh, still use Facebook, so it's definitely relevant. <laughs> yeah. um, so Instagram, Twitter, Instagram is what they use. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, I will, I will check for stuff like this. Would be Instagram. They use it for everything. Everything. It's crazy. Huh. I can't keep up. Huh. As we start talking about this TikTok thing. But the, the people who are going to be interested, we, we have to target that demographic with whatever they use. I don't know. Yeah. It's homeowners. We also have to think homeowners. 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 Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I think probably a lot of them use Facebook, yeah. but probably not the other stuff. Right. Instagram and that kind exactly. of thing. Yeah, and that thing. problem with Facebook is there's probably you know, a lot of people who don't use Facebook that yeah. wouldn't have right. access to right. Facebook mm -hmm. or the Absolutely. information on Facebook. Right. That's why, I mean, the ideal situation would be to actually have a web page. Okay, um, so people mm -hmm. could just go on it and get the information. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. And there, are, there are some students, right. well, true. even back 10 years ago when I was there. There might be, maybe, maybe Ian started one. There now. might even be one, actually, that you can get through the, through the town that that I'm just not aware of. We can also, I think, tap into window dressers' um, oh, yeah. marketing stuff. Mar they have videos, and um, they're on YouTube, mm -hmm. so we could just provide links. Yeah. Yeah. I, well, I think there's a lot of stuff that we could provide links to if we had, yeah. you know, our right in front, front conduit. Like right in front porch forum, right? Can't you put a link right in front porch forum? You can. I see yeah. 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 So that's well, easy. Who, who generated the um, the web page for the town of Bristol? Who maintains that? Do we know? Uh, I think ah, yeah. Ian did a little bit of helping with that after it had already been made and everything. But I think he was at least encouraging some changes. So he is somewhat okay. familiar with that. Because yeah. actually, there would likely be a separate page for the energy committee. Yeah, I, th I have a feeling there is. Pretty and easy I to set up. Seen it. Yeah, that would be great, and then we could put things on that. That would be yeah. ideal. Well, are okay, there let's go minutes posted uh, um, on? They're on. There is. Town the, they, yes. Yeah. So we have a we have a page. I don't know if it's on uh, its own page or it's like along with all the other. Maybe it's its own page. It probably is. Seems like we ought to know that. We should. <laughs> <laughs> I know this is really <laughs> not very tech savvy. I, for yeah. <laughs> Time to have it. Do you see that part out? <laughs> This is going to end up on the editing room floor, right? We take care of this in post-production. <laughs> right. Something really serious happens. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that's great. Yeah. That's a, that was a good conversation. So yep. we, I think we can get a lot happening from that. You know, getting a page and... Can I just say one yes. thing? Um, if, if something came up that you really wanted to be covered, talk to me about it. And it okay. just, you know, I hesitate to offer much because the little thing of, oh, could you just do this and cover this or do yeah. the conference and then do this, the answer mm -hmm. is no. <laughs> right. It takes a lot of time and it's not a yeah. simple thing. Mm -hmm. But if, if there's ways, if you have ideas, yeah. you know, talk to me about it because maybe we could come up with some sort of simple, efficient ways. Um, yeah. In terms of the video and stuff. Great. Okay. Great. Great. I we have, have that on on the the TV site. I have the video on the available. Or however you want to on TV. It. It's mm. Okay, that's so great. Creating some content and then giving okay. it to you. Just it's just ideas. Great. Would you be open if when we do it the next time, if we did a Julia Child style staging of the process with people there making a 10 minute loop of what it looks like and here very quickly is what you do and i've done that a good bit for projects that i've been involved in and 
if everything's ready, you know, you can, you remember Julia Child used to have the next step underneath the counter and she'd, probably you guys don't even know who she is, but. I, I do, sure. <laughs> we know, but she, she wasn't on my frequent watch list. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I watched her a lot. She was so funny. Oh yeah, she's yeah. fabulous. <laughs> well, another hey. time is just, if I was able, I'll just come and I'll follow it and catch it. I don't need oh. Okay. I don't know Julia Child's way. I don't really need to know or want to know. Well, you should look her up. What's going on? <laughs> Regarding um, a teaching video, though, um, Window Dressers has such a fantastic one that that's where people could really learn. Oh, it yeah. would just be like that's true. Kind of yeah. like what Meredith did with it. she has a video of of the thing, and she really panned around and looked looked at stuff. I mean, that hmm. would, that'd be great. And if and if Neat wanted to do something next time we do a workshop, just to, you know, show around and Get stuff the like flavor. that. But it wouldn't be the training video because that has it been done be already. No, I'm, really, not really I'm not talking about training. Okay, right. I just get great. the flavor it's of oh, great. what a day yeah. looks totally. like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not a just training. show the fun of it. Yeah, yeah. Right. sweep it, throw it. I'm and then thinking that, that uh, window dressers probably has some pretty good. Yeah. Videos yeah. right. It's just on. always yeah. nice to have locals. Yeah, to see locals doing it though, they're like, oh. My yeah. buddies, they're doing that. I yeah, do I just that. stuck my finger through it. <laughs> <laughs> One other quick note that I, I just thought of uh, for oh, yeah. uh, things that go. helped yes. this year was, was, was let's all be on the same. Let's yeah. make sure everyone's listening to the same. Was uh, pre-building some of the frames so yeah. that on day one we can jump right in on all the different steps mm. rather than have you know what sort of waiting for frames to be assembled. That was helpful to have. Yeah. Have those. Yeah. So we might plan that in a bunch of us the night before. Yeah, or just assemble it again before, before or whatever. Yeah. 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 You'd probably want to spread it out a little since you're going to be working your butt off for a while at the workshop. Yeah. Might want to do it ahead of time. I don't know. Yeah. All right. Um, that's great. Let's move along. Um, I just wanted to briefly say that um, the town is talking about a net metering proposal with Green Lantern Solar, and um, you know they went to the select. Uh, it was talked about a couple nights ago at the select board, um, and there was talk there also about what's what I have here in number four. I'm just going to put them together right now since we're talking about it. Um, there are a couple options for the landfill, or a number. There could be many options. Um, but it sounds like it might be a good idea to, you know, work on something for the landfill. And so far, um, Green, Green Lantern Solar and Ralph are going to look into that. And also there's Acorn Energy Co-op, and they are mm -hmm. interested in it, uh, offering a, um, what they call a community solar. So it would be for residents mm -hmm. to purchase panels in the array and... That would be great. That would be really great. And that so, great. yeah, I ended up talking to Ralph after the meeting, and um, we talked about how it might be great to work together on that, like have Green Mountain Solar might be, if it's a large array, it could um, have larger investors off taking uh, the credits and then um, also have part of the array be for residents. So it, maybe there could be a mixture of it. I just wanted mm -hmm. to let you guys know that there's just the beginnings of talking about that. And the town is open to that? Yeah, the, the town. The board is open to it? Yeah, Joel was asking about, well, if we do this net metering, what about if we could do something on the landfill? Would it be better to wait and do it on the landfill? So, there was, so he was interested in that, and it sounded like other people on the select board are interested in, you know, something, doing, exploring that. Well, well you know? the... The Green Lantern Solar Project is happening, right? It has been proposed, oh, and, been. and that happened this Monday. Uh -huh. And um, the select board is going to hand it to the town lawyer to, you know, look over the proposal and it's, just make sure it's I mean, cool, and then they'll decide. That could be the one that serves the municipality. Yeah, that is definitely going to be. Mm -hmm. yeah, and it's then gonna, yeah. the landfill could be a community solar. To serve the residents, it could be. It could that be. That would be nice. Yeah. If both could be. The, yeah, that yeah, could be. Because not everybody has a south-facing right. roof. Right. 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 Like it, me. What some people 
it, what if only 10 or 15 people are interested? That's not going to cover what could happen on that landfill. I understand. So that's the thing. I understand. Yeah. But, yeah. but I think definitely having residents be able to get solar from that would be yeah, awesome. Yeah, a project that would I'd be even. open with maybe residents having priority. Yeah. Something like yeah. that. Is Ralph Mima on the select board? What's that? Ralph Mima, is he on the select no, board? No, he's he? not at all. He just he uh, lives in southern Vermont and he works for Green Lantern Solar. Ah, okay. And he, Green Lantern Solar has developed uh, about 90 or 85 projects, solar projects, and 70 of them are in, in you know, they've, they're working, they're operating. Mm -hmm. Another four or five are in the books to happen and another group are in pros progress of building. Okay. So they're, they've been doing this for a while, since like 2011. So not very long, but they've really grown and learned a lot along the way. They said it was a lot of learning, mm -hmm. learning curve, but um, anyway. And they've looked at the landfill site and so think it's a, good for a The, the Bristol Energy Committee worked with, a, he, one, of, one of the people who was, uh, a, a, what, he was like a contracted guy who was working with Green Lantern. So he came to our meeting once and gave us a proposal about what they'd want to do. It was a 500 kilowatt solar array. And, you know, so we, we started moving forward. But then he, we didn't hear from him for a long time. And it turns out that he left, he didn't, it was no longer a contractor. You know, he mm. got a new job. <laughs> now he's doing something else. Um, and so that just kind of dropped. But they, they've taken a look at it. Green Lantern Solar has that information. So they, they, they have to start on that already. And they had someone who was going to come and look a couple of days ago. I think two, yesterday, I think, we're going to look at the landfill. Okay. From so, Green, Green Lantern? Green Lantern, yeah. Uh -huh. So Has, has anybody going, had any contact with ACORN? Yeah, so I'm in contact with them, and okay. I have a meeting with them okay. this Friday to... Uh, no, Monday. We're going to do it Monday. It was, I don't... I don't think it's working on the weather and different people's. Uh, maybe it is actually tomorrow. Anyway, it's uh, coming up really soon, and um, that is going to be take a look at the landfill. And they've given me some information, and we're definitely going to talk about it. And there's a group of three that will show up. Uh -huh. Who are they? Susan, Susan Smiley, uh -huh. Peter Carruthers, and Rich something. Mm -hmm. I've got his <coughs> last name. And what is their connection to Acorn or whatever? Or um, so Acorn is kind of the, you know, the Addison County Regional, what is it, uh, localization? Hmm. Addison County network. Relocalization Network, right. I think. Yeah. yeah. And, and so this is an offshoot of that. It's not Acorn. It's this own, their own group, and they're called Acorn, uh, Acorn oh. Solar Co-op, I think. Okay. And so they, they're just a group that really wanted to do this, and this that's just what they focus on. And they have one project in Shoreham that is operating now. They had a large investor um, of co-op insurance, was their large investor, who put up the money up front and um, put up most of the money up front and will, you know, go for six or seven years and then, um, then they'll be done mm -hmm. with their mm -hmm. part of it. And and then individuals put up money depending on how many panels they wanted and they covered just what would, their house would cover, you know, pretty much so that they, and then they're, they're getting paid back through their, you know, just getting credits on their energy bills. Mm -hmm. And then at some point that'll, they'll be paid back and then they'll get, you know, continued I don't know how long. I don't. I don't know what that, what that whole thing is. I, I need to learn more about that. How that works. That's great. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So. Um, all right. So. Want to go to STEM? We kind of. Mm -hmm. Tell us what's going on and what we need to do. So, we've had a couple of meetings. Um, the STEM fair is going to be in the gymnasium of the elementary school. And it's at, uh, I think it's 5.30 to 7 on April 1st. And um, the Echo Museum is going to be bringing a truck, setting up 
um, a series of activities related to STEM uh, subject areas uh, for the elementary school kids to uh, participate in. There are going to be some other um, or organizations um, bringing some exhibits and so on. Um, one of the goals of the project is also to involve the community. Uh, so we have the opportunity to man person a table uh, with stuff that we think is important regarding uh, Bristol Energy Committee. And I think that's what we need to talk about tonight. Yep. Plan the educational table, the tasks, and the timing. And a hands-on kind of thing. Yeah. So, you know. So what do you think a table would look like? What would we have on it and what would we be doing? I think one thing, uh, I don't know if you remember the uh, three light bulb yep. uh, display I have that um, has watt meters, the watts ups, so that somebody can see the difference between in an incandescent, a CFL, and an LED very quickly. Uh, we could have that. Um, That's great. I think we should have weatherization stuff, um, maybe the window dressers information for sure. Mm -hmm. um, is, I wonder if there's a way we could have kids make a small storm window, you know, at the table uh, and stretch it, hmm. you know, a little guy. Mm -hmm. If we could make up a I don't know, a couple dozen of those, and not every kid's going to want to do it uh, and have a mess around with it. I mean, that could be, in an hour and a half, that would keep us all probably busy and we'd end up with the end of it on the floor covered with tape. And <laughs> <laughs> Stuck together. Yeah. I don't know, that's just a, just sure. an idea I'm throwing out. Yeah. But, and shrink <laughs> yeah. We well, should have saved some of that extra plastic. You know, I, yeah. I have no idea where you would get this, but and maybe Echo is going to do something like this. But um, kids would, you know, bicycles that are hooked up to generators, mm -hmm. um, yeah, we're, treadmills that are hooked up to generators, and helping them understand, you know, uh, that human power can create electricity. Uh, we one. think we think Matt Sharp is going to bring the one from efficiency. Vermont. Yeah. Oh, great. Okay. Yeah, they have one. Yeah, so one, one of those, yeah. um, those little, because it's a very physical thing for the kids. That's so, yeah, do. it's perfect. Yeah, it's real. Who can generate the most electricity? That's perfect. Yeah. yeah. Game on. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> yeah, hardcore that's bicyclists, tough. that's what they do for training. They actually measure their watt, wattage. Oh, yeah. Wow. Really? Which, yeah. Huh. It's, it's the uh, resistance and the rate. Okay. Of yeah. which they pedal That's great. will generate X number of watts. Huh. Nice. What other stuff do people think about that would be uh, good? I'm trying to think of something where they can put their two boxes they put their hands in and one is super insulated and one is not. Oh, yeah. And they can feel the difference. Um, if the, if the right hand one is super insulated, they can feel it warming up really quickly. So right. you could so have a heat lamp above it, are you thinking? Or just the heat from their hands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, right. Like you notice when you put your hands in your bins or something. Um, yeah. Uh, um, yeah, a box. Poly with ISO and another one that's just a box. I don't yeah. know, something like that. Yeah. I've got poly ISO, some extra. Um, but I think I'm going to be making uh, mini storm window frames. Okay. Can you consider making one of those? I've got some scraps in my um, in my basement. <clears throat> yeah, so I'll put that down. Uh, what are we going to call, call that? It? A thermal what? Uh, uh, a thermal uh, demonstration. Um, insulation. Sure. Yeah, super insulation or mm -hmm. thermal insulation demonstration. Or I think it's something directive, yeah. really. Right? Yeah. 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 Super. Super insulation. What about the little um, the little. Yeah, I have the little sample, window there. Sample window. Yeah, that's with the window mm. dressers. Mm -hmm. How much? How much that helps? Yeah. Oh yeah, right. Right. It's mainly going to be. Would it be helpful to make a few little jigs, much like what we had to make the larger windows? 
just just so that they could actually, because I'm trying to figure out how they can they can stretch right. and tape, you know, like little stands so they can put the tape and the foam on. And, um, maybe, maybe it's a chance for them to work together. I don't know. And one hold it, and they, you know, one kid holds it, the other one does the tape. I can picture that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can too. Okay, that's true. All right, a jig would be good. <laughs> No, it may work out great, but uh. yeah, I think that's a good idea. We can make a couple of jigs so that they can. Um, yeah, I'd be more than happy to to help out with that. Okay, so I'll put Mike in parentheses. I was do my contribution earlier because we're we're away after the end of March for six weeks. So would you be making a jig that fit uh, any size, any small size? We do a tiny little. Yeah, but, you know, I, I only envision it thinking about what I was doing on the other side. Obviously, we need something. No, not necessarily. I guess putting we foam don't. around it. Yeah, put, putting yeah. putting the, the, the foam around the edge of the of the window. Let's just say it's going to be a roughly a twelve by twelve. Yeah. Twelve inch by twelve inch. Yeah. Yeah. So all you need is a little piece of plywood and a couple of pieces of plywood. Yeah. And you just drop it in there. Yeah, if you make that, and we'll we'll say three quarters of an inch thick. Yep. Um, are we gonna? What actually are we gonna do? Are we gonna do the stretching and taping, so we're not really. We'll put some some, the some gasket material on, and don't you think? So the kids can take them home, and then their parents will be dying. To build those windows. Okay, so home. it's like it's bringing them home so the parents can make, the, make the real window. Yeah. Okay, yeah. the whole window. Wow, serious. The whole 12 by 12, 12 inch, window. 12 yeah. inch by yeah. 12 inch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so. Maybe you know, for their thing. cat doors at home. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so yeah, we get outside of the cat. frame to <laughs> all, and then do the process of stretching and sticking the, yeah. uh, the plastic and then putting the, the foam. And uh, the um, dryer. They could just we could just use a hair dryer. Yeah. yeah. And then putting one of those little brochures on it. <laughs> yep. Back, yep. It says yeah. call Sally. Yeah. We <laughs> put, it, we put uh, it inside between the layers. <laughs> call Sally if you're interested. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we make bigger sizes. <laughs> yeah. This is for mini houses. Right. Great. Okay, I think that's probably enough. So we're going to need a, a few different jigs for this, right? Yeah. Yeah. A few. It, do you know how many stations you want to set up? Well, again, it's a it's a, a labor issue if we can all be yeah. available. Uh, probably no more than than two or three. Okay. I would say two. Okay. Um, because not every not everything has to be done at a station. Yeah. Right. You know, at a, with a jig. Yeah, we ought to be able to create some chaos on <laughs> Yeah, really. I think so. I think maybe cutting the plastic ahead of time would be good. Having the plastic sheets. Oh, since they are standard size. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good idea. Pre cut plastic, and also there's less chance of the razor blade routine or the scissors. Or whatever. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. <laughs> if the stretching still need table. extra, oh, extra to pull. Yeah, we'll have to, true. We have you to know, if we're 12 by 12, we need 15 true. by 15 or something. Yeah, at least. Plastic, yeah. yeah. Yeah, 18 by 18, yeah. On the stretching table, because I didn't work over there, there there's no special uh, jigs or anything like that to. No, we just laid it, nope, just it's just laid a it flat, right down. And yeah. It's all technique. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, double sided tape in elementary school kids. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah, oh right. Oh my God. <laughs> that, that's what we need the jig for, for sure. So, yeah. So we have one more meeting before then. Maybe the next meeting we should have all of this stuff ready totally bring it here and yeah just sort of take a look at it and see what if we yeah, need look anything at else it. try yeah. it see if it works that would yeah. be cool what will the date of the next meeting be it's before the 25th right of march yep. okay it'll be the third yeah third wednesday when it will work it will be 
22nd. 20, no, 15th, tax day. Right, 15th. All right. Well, that's great. That's exciting. Yeah. Um, so we'll have a chance then to finalize anything we need to do around tasks and timing. Yeah, week. let's try to just get this part get our together, stuff here. get the project yeah. together. Mm -hmm. We definitely need to get everyone to get uh, the project together because we don't really have time. That sounds great. Um, do, all right, let's move on to Addison County Regional Planning Commission. Just a little update about the roundtable. So on the January 28th, um, I think I, I was the only person from this energy committee, but other energy committees had one person there as well. And um, pretty much written whatever needs to go in the notes, so you can pr practically put that in the notes. It's basically telling, telling us that there are resources we can use for different things we have, different projects we're going on, want, or, the, or information we want. Okay. We can um, talk to Addison County Regional Planning Commission, um, talk to Andrew Lebrow, and um, they'll help us with figuring out what we need to do if we're working on a project. Um, he sends out a monthly newsletter. Does everyone get that? Mm -hmm. Probably. You mm -hmm. do? Okay. Is everyone else you think on our committee, or should I? Um, do people should. want to? Yeah, sure. Carl on here. Yeah, I'd like to. Yeah, yeah thank you. Okay, Are you get it too. You are. I think get I do. It? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll make sure Carl gets a copy of it, and then you can maybe I'll send you the the latest copy. That'd be great. Thank you. And then you can. Uh, yeah, great. Um, and the next energy um, roundtable is March thirty first. That's in. Middlebury, usually uh, 4.30 to 6, I believe. And, you know, you can go or you don't have to go. It's just uh, a place to see other energy committee members and talk about things that are going on and, and uh, that kind of thing. That's where I met the ACORN group. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Sally, where's that held in Middlebury? It's at the Addison County Regional Planning Office, which is sort of just north of the co-op. It's because I sh almost share a parking lot. It's on so it's Seminary, Seminary Street. Street. Oh, okay. Seminary. Seminary. Yeah. 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 yeah, right. Okay, thank you. And if we're going, going from here, we go. It's carpool. Anyone who wants to. And then, then uh, also at the Addison County Regional Planning Commission, the Climate Economy Action Coalition has been meeting. And... Uh, they're working with, they started with working with just Middlebury businesses and residents and nonprofits to um, <coughs> mainly try to work together, bring more partners together to work on energy, any, any ways to reduce carbon and be sort of a climate economy, helping the economy at the same time. So that's their focus and um, they uh, are trying, they're wanting to expand to all of Addison County. So. Uh, or at least they, they were always were interested in that, but they hadn't really reached out too much to the wider community. So they have regular meetings um, and would love to have people, you know, bring input and, and be at least in the know of what, what they're interested in or what their projects are so that when we can, you know, partner with businesses here. <laughs> like if, if businesses in town here wanted <coughs> to work on some sort of way to bring carbon down and work together, they, this, this kind of group could help with that. Um, and then ACORN is also involved there. And Efficiency Vermont. So those are just, uh, we already know that Efficiency Vermont is a good uh, partner for us. That, that item there, D, the usage and savings for counties and oh, towns. Oh, yeah, right. Um, document. Is that the same spreadsheet or report that I saw maybe? Did I send it recently? Yeah, yes. not too long ago. Yes, I think you did. It's and I, I think I meant to send it again, but, but I, I don't think I did it. Savings information, but that's, yeah, they had what, electric usage yeah. and costs for heating fuels as well. Right. 
Yeah, I think I meant to send that again, just so it was fresh, but um, I, I will do that again. And Bristol was high average, so we were sort of slightly above average. Not extreme, but not average either. Yeah. <laughs> we were, our costs were higher than average. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. Um, and they're also, they're wanting to update that kind of stuff, so I don't know how they're going to do that, but they admit that there are some mistakes or some mm. approximations and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But, mm -hmm. but it seems like a, a great piece of data. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'll send that around again if I can get my hands on that. That'd be great, thank you. Yeah. So they meet monthly? Uh, the CEAC or no, the, the Addison the, County? Yeah. It's the not exactly. Right, the round trap table is more like maybe every two months. Okay. Okay, I see. Yeah. Something like that. It doesn't, it's not, uh, maybe it's either six or four times a year. One okay. of those. <clears throat> So um, I'll try to maybe uh, maybe I should send like a climate economy newsletter to you, and you guys can decide if you want to sign up for them or not. But just so you'll you'll have awareness of who they are, what they're doing. Mm -hmm. That would be great. All right. Thank you. Great. All right, Global Warming Solutions Act. How's that going? Well, uh, actually, tomorrow. Um, the first of the bills is going to be passing out of the House, um, hopefully with a um, veto-proof majority, though that's not certain. Uh, but it should be voted on tomorrow, um, if not certainly by Friday. Uh, it's been referred to the House, was referred yesterday. They usually have a day in between and then they, uh, depending on other business, uh, go ahead and vote. And uh, John was talking about the fact that uh, TCI um, is lagging in terms of the memorandum of understanding um, and the final the final details for that. The transportation. So it's a little bit initiative. yeah transportation climate initiative. It's uncertain whether um, that will make it in time for this session. Um, but there's very strong action in Montpelier uh, to pass it if it does. Mm -hmm. uh, whether it, uh, Governor Scott is almost certain to veto it, um, I said so. But all of the not-for-profits, if you're on any of the networks, are urging you to call our legislators. If any of you live have friends who live outside our region. Um, our legislators are all on board with these things. Uh, but certainly call the governor's office. Um, write a letter, send them an email. It's very easy to do. And um, it, it could make a difference if he gets a, a, just a major groundswell of people saying that we need to uh, solve the the global warming situation and pass the components of the Global Warming Solutions Act. Um, I'm going to be there tomorrow. We have our Faith Climate Action Day that uh, I've been working on very hard and we've got uh, people from around the state who belong to Vermont Interfaith Power and Light and um, the, uh, there's another organization I better tell you what that is. It's a Vermont Interfaith Action. I don't know why I keep uh, forgetting that. Anyway, uh, Vermont Interfaith Action, Vermont Interfaith Power and Light and VPIRG are putting this thing on. And um, we are going up for training in the morning on the issues. Press conference at 11 with a whole lot of people speaking, including the legislators, and then we're going to be meeting with uh, Mitzi Johnson and Tim Ash uh, for a short time. We just found out today that David Zuckerman wants to 
show up with us. Mm -hmm. yes. um, so uh, all that will be done by around 11 30, 12 o'clock, and then uh, VPIRG setting up meetings with everybody with their legislators. So um, it's it's going to be a nice day of lobbying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there'll be more. Um, mm -hmm. The bills are going to be the bill then moves to the Senate, this bill. Uh, there are three other bills, and so um, we have a lot of work to, to keep on doing. The thing that I was suggesting late today, I don't know if, if anybody saw this, but we, we can go to um, VEC, Vermont Electric what is it? I'm having a hard time. Anyway, this this site, um, Renewable Energy Vermont, I guess it is. REV, right. REV, yeah. yeah um, this is a very easy process. What I thought is if we can get a picture of all of us holding some stuff, we can import that a picture. This is a picture of my church at the climate strike. Um, I bought a farm bell, and the idea was um, churches across Vermont were supposed to ring a, a bell at noon. We don't have a bell, so we bought one, and uh, I gave it to my kids for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we stood on Allen Avenue in South Burlington and, and uh, with our signs and so on. Got a lot of thumbs up. And so that's what this is. I imported that, and our and our message is there. Um, and then um, on the other side, no, that's right. I'm not connected to the internet. Okay. Um, on the other side, we can write uh, the Bristol members of the Bristol Energy Committee uh, stand up for sustainable energy, something like that. That's probably what I'd put down here, and then amplify it in the back. I send this right away to Renewable Energy Vermont and within um, by tomorrow it'll be on the it'll be going to our legislators. Mm. So Mari, uh, Caleb, um, Chris Bray will get it uh, for us. What do you think? You want to do it or you? Um, sure. I mean, do we want to do it tonight? Or I'd say we, I, we right here. The better? Yeah. <laughs> Anybody got a call? <laughs> I'm really glad I wore this shirt because I have that exact one. Yeah. And I was going to wear it tonight. That would, hey. look, that would look weird. It's a team shirt, right? <laughs> but maybe just as we're ready to leave. Yeah, that sounds um, good. Mm -hmm. If we could, uh, if we could do that, uh, if you're comfortable with it, you're, uh, yeah. The okay. one thing is, um, I would say members yeah. of the group, but it's not like the whole energy committee is not here, and we can't say what they would say. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's, I would say members. Yeah. Yeah. These five members of the members energy committee. standing up for the sustainable yeah. energy. Yeah. And and mm -hmm. we yeah we, I don't know, yeah. Do we say Bristol Energy Committee, or do we not really say Bristol Energy You think there's anybody that would not stand up for, uh, on the Energy Committee that would not stand up for that? I can't imagine. And we're saying members. Yeah. Yeah, not okay. the whole committee. Yeah, okay. I guess it's all right. But we could get sued. <laughs> Let's it's, only, down. it's only gonna go to three people. <laughs> All right, it's it's like we're just sending it to our legislators in our area, yeah. but we, of the Bristol, this group of the Bristol Energy Committee, is hoping. I could we, even say these members if yeah. you want. The, the rest of them, we're not sure. I don't. I don't think we have to write that part. But. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, we need to start taking stands. Um, the news is getting worse and worse regarding climate change, and I think we may be well beyond the tipping points already. Yeah. Um, so totally. it's not time to mess around. It wasn't that long ago they were talking about 400 parts 
being like the tipping point. Now, what is it, 420 or 430? Yeah, we're well over it. Yeah. Yep. And the ice shelves are really melting quick. 65 degrees in Antarctica. That's amazing. That's, That's crazy. Yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's moved there. It's cool. It's warmer there than it was here. <laughs> yeah, they said it was warmer than Miami <laughs> <laughs> that day. Yes. Um, yeah, not anything to laugh about. No, it is not. Okay, so, so that's global that's warming great. solutions thanks, act. Thanks for that update. I think the actual the legislators are going to be here this Sunday. Is yeah, it this Sunday, right? Sunday at the fire station, yeah. one o'clock. Yeah. Who? Oh, Caleb and Caleb, Mari, and uh, Chris. And, Chris. Yeah. and Ruth too. Right. Ruth. Okay. I haven't heard okay. whether Ruth was or not. Yeah. Thanks for keeping your hand on the pulse there. Um, so, do we want to talk about the library walkthrough? I mean, we, we've talked about it. Are we really interested in doing that around this timing, or, is, or we just kind of have other things? You know, I'd say table it for now. Yeah. Personally. Yeah. yeah. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Okay. I kind of thought that, but I thought I'd just put on there. Sure. sure. So did the library kind of get a, an appraisal, was it? Was it listed somebody? No, it was not done. Nothing mm -hmm. happened. Nothing then. happened after oh. all. Lots of talk okay. and nothing happened. We did. Okay. What did we do? We looked at the, we compiled the heating, or yeah. the, right. the cost right. information. Yeah. And it's not actually terribly high. Okay, so. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm sure there's a, some opportunities, but I don't think there's any, there's no home runs or triples or okay. right. available, yeah. And, and then, I, that I could oh. see offhand, sorry. No, it's all right, great. Okay, so the green update, uh, I wasn't really sure what was going on with that. You know, we have not really talked too much about it. We've, we've talked some, but I saw Ian today, and he has been talking with Conservation Commission. I. Mm -hmm. And uh, he thinks it's probably going to happen this year. I mean, he'd, he'd like to be a part of making it happen this year. I wasn't sure where this group was at. Ian and Carolyn Dash and I are meeting. Okay, great. Uh, to talk about it. So I told her I would bring, bring it up tonight as okay. well. Um, and last year, what did we do? These things on here, uh, we did. We had electric cars for people to look at, and some of them might have tried them. We had Stephen was um, the bike, bike tune-up tune man. Yep. There were also electric bikes there because Sun Common was there with the bouncy house and a few. Well, someone else brought an electric bike. Oh, I think Jerry, 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 Jerry did. Slager. Yeah. 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 No yeah. one brought a lawnmower last year, but we talked about it. I think. Yeah. Electric lawnmower. I was thinking electric maybe electric or battery. Pardon? Electric. Uh, electric. Yeah. Well, I mean, what? there are plug-in electrics and there are battery. Oh, right, right. I can bring a battery, electric. I, yeah, I got, and it might be easier for me because I just am over there. But. No, whatever, sure. Mm. What do you got? We'll bring different models. I have a yeah. Black & Decker. What do you have? Yeah. <laughs> we have a Black & Decker. I'm not sure it's the best Newton. anymore. <laughs> do you have, have, you have, you you have the new uh, lithium battery? Yeah. Yes, yeah. 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 older. I think the older one was better. I think the older one is better. Yeah. Yeah, I, have, I still have the older one. Yeah. Uh, the controls went on it, and I haven't fixed them, but I might because I like using it better. It lasts longer, if you can imagine. Yeah. Well, ours has been going strong for quite a few years. That's great. I had well, to that, buy a new battery, but yeah, yeah. they they tend to need to get. Get well, that'll be great to have more so people to look at those. So we've got a little time, but should I express yeah. to Carolyn that we want to maybe have a table and a, a tent and we'll gather up some yeah. stuff? I mean, we we have to, we're the ones who are going to be organizing table and tent. Carolyn basically is out by the rock. She's doing the, passing out those the green and update. Everything yeah. else is up to us. Yeah. This is like us that does the expo. She doesn't really do any of that. So let's do um, storm windows. Storm windows for sure. They should be there for sure. Yeah. 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 Well, so if we bicycle. have those jigs, we could still play around with those little jigs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Although we don't want to use up all our materials. Oh, just on that note, yeah. um, 
the entire set of jigs and tools and supplies and everything is here yeah. in Bristol. So Great. if we happen to be the first group to get yeah. organized, we could we could have the stuff is still here. It's yeah. all here. Wow. That's yeah. great. Wow. All That's those, something that all the to shoot for. It'd be nice, but I think that we'll have competition. Jack Sunberg probably. Oh, yeah. Right, right, right. Well, should we reserve a date, a time? Uh, for Holly Hall? Yeah, like for the fall? Yeah, I don't know. That seems... Push it a little too <laughs> premature? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. For me, anyways. <laughs> you want time to leave town? What? <laughs> you want time to leave town? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think it just would, so we I don't think get no, November get, would be nice. So we don't get cramped into you know February again or January. Yeah, yeah, it'd be great to do yeah. it in November or December if that was possible. But yeah, November would be good. Seems like a know, good time. Early November. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's too nice to be inside in October. We're not going to want to be. Mm -hmm. That's true. Who who arranged for the electric cars? Uh, as a committee, uh, we were, I think Ian, Ian worked that out. We talked about that in meetings, but he was the one who did it. I think we could talk to local people with electric cars, too. You know, they had, or maybe, maybe you know, the idea was this woman from... Um, Tesla. Yeah, I think. Mm. Was going to bring, and maybe that never happened, and it ended up being private people who brought their cars. I don't I know. There were, I think there was a Tesla wrap there. Definitely. Well, Tesla. there were two Teslas, but they were yeah. both local folks. Yeah, they, that's what I'm thinking. Huh. Yeah. And someone brought a Nissan Leaf. Yep. And yep. there might have been one other one. Yep. Yeah. There are a lot more now. Yeah, so it could be that local people want to do that. And how would we get those, you think? We'd have to talk to the well, people or put it out in front I'd like to talk to some dealers. Okay, yeah, dealers. So someone would have to do that yeah. probably pretty soon to get that line. I, the, the local folks, and I, I, I wish I was better at remembering names, um, <clears throat> gentlemen. Ron, maybe Ron. Ron Yara. From New yeah, Haven. Ron Yara. Yeah, yeah. He, had the, he had the X. The yeah, he might want to do it car. again. Dream car, yeah. Yeah, and uh, he was fabulous. You know, he was taking people for spins, and, yeah. and uh, another gentleman was there with the... Uh, did he have a three or did he have the S? Again, I think three. there was a there. Yeah, there was a three. It had the tablet. Yeah. Yeah. It was it was the three and uh, another local guy. And yeah. We, right. I mean, he, I generally speaking, the Tesla owners that I've met, and I used to hunt them down in the parking lot of Healthy Living. Every time I saw somebody buying a car, I was like there in a shot. So tell me. <laughs> but anyway. They seem to all be like really eager to share, yeah, because they're excited about yeah. their cars. Well, that's good. So if we can, uh, you know, I don't know anybody else that. Um, oh, actually, I do have an acquaintance I, I I could make a connection with. Okay, so you'll, Mike, you'll talk to locals. Yeah, I don't. I don't know these other. I maybe Ian could. I'd yeah, be happy to talk to them. I just have to find out how to get in touch with them, who they are. I can give you Ron's, probably his email. Or maybe I should just right. do it. And if I'm, anybody that's watching Meet TV who has a Tesla who would like to come and share it, call me. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to give out your number? Yeah. <laughs> no. 1-800. One, one <laughs> yeah, I don't think I have too many ex-students watching, so I'd probably be safe. <laughs> uh, how about the actor bus? Oh, that would be really cool. That would be cool. That would be yeah. so yeah. great. Yeah. Can contact them. Thank you. Yeah, you know, you know you... Oh, does he still drive? Did Jerry drive for actor? I know he drives for... Uh, the school over there, the Jerry The really tall guy? No, Jerry, Jerry Slater? Slater. Slater. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, He's driving a bus. I don't know. He, I know he, drive, he drives a bus for, uh, uh, what's what's the, the, the school over in Virgins? Used to be the week school. Uh, hmm. I don't know. It's a residential place. Hmm. Anyway. Anyway, so Jerry oh, Slager's... Northlands. Northlands, thank Northlands. you. Oh. Yeah. 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 But so, I, 
Thought so Carla, you're going to check on with actor. I'll check with actor. Okay. All right. I'll ask Jerry about his e-bike if he wants to bring that again. And I've seen more and more e-bikes around mm. lately. Around and I can check in if he knows anything about bus <coughs> stuff, or I could I could call, call actor and see. So let I Carl. Can, call, can, yeah, Carl. Oh, gonna, he's going to do that. Great. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, you know, in trains, not that we have commuter trains around here. Not until we get the track, so we're going to start talking about that. Yeah, I just, I took a trip to New York on the train, and I just thought, this is fabulous. I know, it's really it is nice. Great. It's the best. It's that is. The best. It's, uh, it it's coming. It's coming. I hope so. Wouldn't yeah. hurt to have a, a brochure about that. Like around. the Amtrak, yeah. Yeah, that's great. You know, the... the uh, Founder or owner of Sun Common bought two rail cars, and he wants to run them between I think Brattleboro and Montpelier. That's oh, but he's right. not been able to get the, you know, get the local railroad to allow him to use the track. Oh, wow. um, but that's that's really something. I mean, that's not a small thing to. Well, yeah. I'm just going to no, go ahead and buy them. They've been They've been upgrading the track from Rutland uh, to Burlington. Yeah. Aren't they going to start some sort of commuter thing on there? Yeah. Yeah. That's great. That'd be great. Yeah, they're going to extend uh, up to Burlington from Albany, New York. And all mm -hmm. points south of there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Through, I'm looking forward through, to that. Through Middlebury. Middlebury. Yeah, through Middlebury. Yeah. Yeah. Middlebury, That's Rutland. That's great. It's really great. I wish they'd stop in New Haven Junction. <laughs> yeah. We don't yeah, even have a park to ride down. down. What? Can I always flag them? Yeah, lie on the tracks. Like Bill Rogan's goat. <laughs> yeah. um, so we've got a list of things that we can yeah. do. I'll report to uh, Carolyn that we're gearing up. Um, there's that group, uh, Bikes for All, is that what it's called? Where uh, this guy collects old beat up bikes and he fixes them up into one speeders and gives them away to people. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can't remember the name of it. Someone will, maybe I'll look into it, but be neat if, um, if people were trying to get rid of bikes and they wanted to, you know, hand them off and have this person be there just showing this program because it's really great. They, he, he where came where is it? It's somewhere not too far from here, I think. Um, Virgins? Is it, maybe. Is it Tim? Oh, little, maybe. Little, little, is it Tim? little City Bikes? It's it not the name. He's the best. Oh, he yeah. is the best. Tim at Little City Bikes. I have a great story about him that I yeah. can tell with the camera running. He might um, be the guy. I could ask him if he knows about donation to bikes. Uh, I have a tool I need to get Does back he to uh, sell electric bikes? Oh, I doubt it. Yeah. Um, well, there's the place in Burlington called Old Spokes Home, and they take in bikes and rehab them and sell yeah. them. Yeah, that's great. Cheap, cheap. What is, the, what is the bike rental in Burlington? Is that local motion or what is it? Local motion. Local motion, yeah. The one up down on the bike path. Yeah. yeah. Those are regular bikes, and then is it a different group that does the electric bikes? I there? think so. Yeah. I sat there last summer one day across from the locomotion bike rack and watch people try to figure out how they could use their cell phones to unlock them. I mean, you have to have an app and you know, so yeah. people, well, you have to have an app. Oh, well, how do I get an app? You know, this whole, and I learned the whole process wow. by watching tourists uh -huh. go through it. It was, and it works really well. Uh -huh. oh, yeah, I number. still don't understand. Uh, you know, I've been in some cities recently where they're literally scattered Everywhere, so oh, yes. like in the middle of, like, why is this bike just laying on the ground over here? Oh, uh, laying on the ground uh, anywhere. Just yeah, they go. Well, I think probably through GPS and maybe an app, people can figure out where there's a bike if they're mm -hmm. looking for one. They go just pick it up, yeah. and they yeah. just pick it up and go. I think at some point they go around and pick them up at the end of the day, maybe. But yeah, you just you go to wherever you're going, you just leave the bike and. Somebody else comes wow. along and goes wow. somewhere else. So huh. great. A lot of That's a lot wild. of campuses, big campuses, have that, and it's it's informal. If you see a bike, you know the blue bike, take it, you know, leave it where you're going. Next person. Right. Yeah. It's pretty cool. That's very good. That's just regular bikes. 
Yeah, yeah just, just mm. cool. and they're so ugly, nobody would steal them. So. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I could check in with Melanie. I don't know. She, you saw Melanie a bit. She was near where you were doing the. Yeah. She was decorating your bike or something. Yeah, she was. Human powered parade. Promoting the parade, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'll check with her to see if she wants to be around. Um. All right. Uh, so the consensus is to do something for Green Up Day if it's happening? Yeah. Uh, you, as I recall, were a really big help that day. Well, I won't be this year if it's on the second. Okay. Because I'll still be in California. Okay, so maybe we won't do tables because that was mainly what you were helping us bring tables across the street with your oh, truck. Gosh, yeah. Oh, I'm sure you can find somebody to do tables. <laughs> right. I really only need one, probably one table. Yeah. Okay. We'll mow the lawn with electric lawn. Mowers. Maybe we will call in all these other groups to do stuff and yeah. offer them tables. We'll yeah. just do energy. Let's stick with energy. Yeah. And uh, I mean conservation. Group might want to come in. I don't know with pollinators or whatever. Um, all right. Last year there was the trail group, right? John oh, yeah. Myers. Yeah. Right. You want to yeah. invite them? Again? Yeah. Bristol Trail Network, right? I think. Yeah. I think um, Carolyn is on top of that. But Porter Knight would hmm. want th want that. Mm-hmm. Great. All right, uh, and um, do you think you're going to want to do bike tubes, so you're going to kind of wait on that maybe, and see? Maybe, possibly. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. And someone else might want to do it. Who knows? Yeah, I, and I actually might have a, a, a one, maybe two bikes that have been, well, they've come into my possession <laughs> that, that I'd like to actually sell and raise money for, yeah. for um, parts, <clears throat> for... Um, Bikes at the at the local farms. The, the, uh, oh, like great idea! Because I do I do repairs Excellent. for them. That's fabulous. So that's it'd that's be nice if I had a little walking around money to buy cables or mm -hmm. something. So. That that's really great. So should we do something like that? Make that a little bit of a bigger idea? You uh, know, yeah, I, I don't know. I or that's too much to. Have. I wouldn't. I don't, don't feel like we need to their promote crappy that. Bikes over. Okay. Yeah, and you know, no, okay. I don't think so. Yeah. All right. Not. I think I have enough. I think there's two of them, and that that would be good for this year. Okay, yeah. great. Yeah. Looks like we're done. Yeah, I think we are. Yeah. We're done.